So we are done with the material, now it's time to get to the Niagara Trail. Alright, so um, let's create a folder, Niagara. Right click, FX, go to the Niagara emitter. We need a template and we need it to be empty. Okay, so Niagara emitter, let's just name it Trail and we enter. System. So a couple of things. First of all, we do not need a sprite renderer. We need it to be a ribbon. So click on the plus and we need it to be ribbon renderer. Okay. Let's uh, put our material in the instance. We hook it there. Cool. We do not need this initialized particle because we need it to be an initialized ribbon. So click on particle spawn. Ribbon, initialize ribbon. Perfect. So now two things. If we modify the lifetime, if we make it longer, the particle is also going to last longer, right? So it's it's going to end up to be a, a bigger particle. Or not a bigger particle, a longer particle. And we can test it after, right? And also you need to have in mind that uh, um, the speed of your animation also affects on on uh, how long your trail is going to be. We're going to test it out uh, everything in a bit. So it is usually between 0.1 or 0.2 for me. We need to disable mass because we don't want any kind of uh, force applied to it. We don't want any color either. And uh, on ribbon width, it is usually against, uh, it is usually around 40 or 50. We'll test it together anyway. And last thing, uh, on the emitter spawn, we want it to be uh, a spawn rate because, oh no, it is not spawn rate. I'm sorry. It is spawn per frame. Why is it not here? Oh, here. Spawn. It is on emitter update, spawn per frame. And we need to dismiss it. No biggie. Okay, this is fine for now. Let's uh, check our animation. So this is Aurora, I think. And she has a bone, a, a socket on the middle of her sword. This is where the, uh, where the Niagara emitter is going to spawn from. So what you need to do is uh, click on a bone, right click, add socket, you rename it, and then you move it around and you put it wherever you want it to be. In, this, in, in my case, here is perfect. So we go uh, here on, on the bottom on notifies, we right click, add notify state, timed Niagara effect. We click on it and we need to, on the socket name, we need to put uh, the name of the, the socket. So it is sword meat. Let me get some, some water quickly, hold on. Okay, so Let's hook up our, our, our Niagara system. Just apply, just in case. We have only a meter, so we need to right click and Niagara system. Just for the sake of convention, just rename it to Niagara system here. And we need to put it. Let's see if it, if, if we can look at it. So nothing is showing. Um, it is because of two things, right? It is a distortion uh, trail, so it is a little harder to see. But mostly it is because we aren't really done with it and it's it's looking messy. So just for the sake of actually seeing it, on value, just click on one. So it is no, no longer uh, opaque. Well, no, so it is opaque now. Let's see if we can see it. Yeah, we can see it. So now, Let's pause it. We need the trail to start whenever she's starting the, the slash. So probably around here. This is the start. And now it should end around probably here. Oh no. Here sounds fine, honestly. Okay. So we play it. A little bit faster, please. That works. 
But there is one thing now. If you can notice, the trail is not following this sword orientation. It is just showing in your face in the screen. Right? You can see it clearly here. It, it does not follow this sword orientation. So we need to fix that. And also, I, I, I think it is not thick enough. So if it, if it is not thick enough, we can just go on, you see, it's on particle update. Here, ribbon, scale ribbon width. Oh wait, actually, this, <laughs> this isn't it. Uh, we need to go and initialize ribbon. And here we probably put 50. And we click on apply. Let's see. Okay, it is bigger now. Not quite. But uh, for now, it's 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 going to have to do. So this scale ribbon width, we, we will still use it. I, I just didn't want to use it yet, but let's go for it. So just click on the on this little arrow here. We need a float, a float curve. So you type float and we need a float from curve. You have this nice. Uh, let's put it on two. Let's right click the line, add key, maybe around here. Let's select them all, right click and out. Now you can see a curve and you can modify it however you want. If you're asking yourself what this does, you can now see our trail and see how it curves at the end. Of course that it isn't really looking that nice right now but uh, we'll modify it later. And now it is way too thick. So again, initialize ribbon, maybe 45 is the, is the way to go. This is still way too much. So 40. Oh, and uh, click on apply. 40. Okay, this is fine. We still need to fix the orientation though. And uh, to do that, we need to go on system update, click on it and type scratch, new scratch pad module. Nice. So this module name, we, pr um, we probably want to name it uh, something noticeable, right? Uh, like ribbon orientation. This name here, this module is going to appear here, right? So we want something recognizable. Okay, this is fine. Now we want to go to engine provided here and type local. Oh, type local. We want system local to world. We have it here. We want to swap it here to map get. Nice, this is good. Now we need module inputs here and we need a vector. We click on it. We name it curly uh initial initial facing and we again swap it here oh sorry we swap it here there we go now we need to click on the system world and release what we want here is a transform vector we want a matrix transform vector the last one nice we can hook our initial face in here. And we need to create a last one. So we need to go on, on particle attributes. It's this one. And we need to type ribbon, ribbon facing. And this one, we want to swap it on the map set. And lastly, we just hook this vector here. So a quick recap of what we're doing here is we are forcing a ribbon to face a direction that we want to, right? If you can see here, let's just click apply. If you can see here on, on render, so if we scroll down, one of our bindings here is, where is it? Ribbon facing, right? So we need to interact with this variable in order to 
to be able to um to uh to change his it its orientation that and that's what we're doing here right this is the binding you can see it here and now we're changing it over here okay so now we need to click apply otherwise it's not gonna work apply apply nice Whew. okay so finally on particle spawn you can click on the plus type ribbon and we here we have uh, here we have our ribbon orientation and we just need to put one here on C and this should do it let's see okay so it is not working and probably it is because we haven't set it up correctly yep render the facing mode it needs to be custom side vector now please work there we go now it is perfect you can see clearly the difference now and now it is facing the same uh, direction of the of the sword probably wanted to finish here this is way better and now actually um, well now finally we, we can try this so just click this zero revert it back let's test it out <laughs> we can see it that well well now you can see it though can we pick an angle where, where, where we can see it better yeah you can see it way way clearer now over here okay cool one thing that i wanted to do though is this bumper frame let's make it five so it so it is smoother and it, it looks higher quality this is the slowest we can go but you can clearly see here on the side how it is showing can we get a better angle maybe here aha uh -huh. yeah here you can see it way better all right guys uh, so you can tweak the tail at your own liking oh wait wait i was gonna show you about um about the life oh, oh, oh. did we lose her okay sorry so if you are not new to to trails you can just keep it right but if you're new um let's just revert it back here let's put one okay so this is our trail now if you were to make it live longer like one second you can see how it stays there longer right so imagine that if your character was running and slashing the trail will, will stay on the on, on the world uh, for a longer period of time right um it is usually for something magical right if, if, if you're doing a distortion trail usually that is uh, for swords or um uh, for, for a melee attack you don't you don't want that you want it to go away quick like point one. Oh right click 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 and apply yeah you, you want something like this like something really quick or may, maybe you can you could make it linger a little bit longer um this though I don't I do not like that much maybe around here this I like better let's see this looks better all right guys so I hope that you learned uh, there are more trails uh, tutorials coming if you want them to and that's it I hope you had a great time I'll see you on the next tutorial.